been raining pretty much all night. I've just headed down towards Annie's to meet up with Paul. It's really quite surreal because almost 12 months ago, I was organising goodbyes and things like that from the UK. <laughs> and now I'm organising goodbyes from Chiang Mai. <laughs> It's not just a sport, but a martial art coming along with traditions and rituals. Stepping into a boxing ring, no tight fighter ever climbs over the world. What did happen to the last ten? I ran away with my life, fast forward, never turn back again. It's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind. And 19 was the year I had to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the signs. So after three weeks back in Chiang Mai, it's time to move on because I had a week in Chiang Rai and then three here, which means my 30 day visa has come to an end. So I will be moving on to my next destination. I have been away for 10 months. Where has that time gone? Can somebody please tell me? It feels like I left maybe three weeks ago. Ah, oh, it just does not get any easier. You think you've got a system going, but no. Help! <laughs> so the idea is everything that I want to keep on me, my laptop, my cables, um, purse, passport, goes in this bag that stays with me. Everything that goes in the hold in the aircraft goes in this bag but I think I'm going to have to buy another bag. I've picked up a few bits while I've been here in Chiang Mai and I don't think it's all going to be fitting in this bag. <laughs> as long as the weight is okay I've got 20 kg so I'm hoping that the weight will be okay and I've got to keep my eye on the time today because I'm going to go and meet Del, who was the lady who took me for my reflexology and Thai foot massage course. It'll be really nice to spend some time with her. But then I still do have to come back and sort out this disaster that's on my bed. My last full day in Chiang Mai, and I'm just off up to the massage parlor to meet up with Del. We're going out for an hour or so. Looking forward to seeing her. So Del and I have just come to the market and she's introduced me to these, but they taste like Cornish pasties. They've got chicken and potato in them. They are lovely. So we've just come back from the market and Del bought us a drink. She said it's flowers, so I'm not sure. So it's just in a little plastic bag. And you get a straw, put the straw in, a bit like, like the Capri Suns that you used to get, put the straw in. Oh dear, I've just been shopping in the YouTube shop, which is just down here. Thanks, Tony, for introducing me to that shop. <laughs> I've been in there a few times. So I bought my tripod in there and I have to say since I've bought it I have used it every single day and I've just been and bought a microphone set because I've been told that my sound is not the best. So I have treated myself to a new microphone set. So let me know what you think. Is the sound any better? I hope so. Let me know down in the description. And that wasn't even the reason I'd come to the shopping mall today. So over my shoulder just here, there's a dentist and I'm going there to get a hygienist appointment to have my teeth cleaned because I had it done when I was up in Chiang Rai, oh, a little while ago now, at least a couple of months ago. And I just thought before I go off to my next destination, maybe I ought to get my teeth cleaned. And actually it's a lot cheaper here than it was even in Chiang Rai. I think it was a thousand baht 
In Chiang Rai, it's 800 baht here. So I've just filled out a form with my name, address, telephone number, email address. And now I'm just waiting to go in to have my teeth cleaned. That's it, just have my teeth done. And now I'm off back to pack my bags. Oh my goodness, how in the world am I ever gonna sort all this lot out? There we go, can't believe I've done it. I've got a lot less in here than when I started out. A lot less in here, and then the rest of the extra bits are in here. I've just got to weigh it now to see how heavy it is. Okay, I've just been and grabbed the scales from reception. You're not gonna believe this, but my main backpack is so much lighter than when I left the UK 10 months ago. It's only 10.4 and this is four kilos. So I'm a maximum of 15 kilos. I didn't realize I'd gotten rid of so much stuff. So next time I'm gonna be able to pack just a little bag. This is what you call the last supper. Pad Thai, Anna Chang. <laughs> really, I'm having a nightmare. The heavens have opened. You never guess what's leaking. <laughs> yeah, my room. <laughs> my bag is soaking. So the water is running from the door, just here, all the way along here. And my bags were over there and there's a great big puddle on the floor. So now, instead of getting a a nice sleep. <laughs> I'm now trying to dry my bag out next to the fan. Why does it happen to me? Just why? <laughs> Three nights of no sleep. <laughs> It'll all be all right. It'll all come out in the wash, as they say. Oh, oh my word, the day has come. I am so tired after last night with the room leaking and it, I have no idea what time I went off last night, but it was very close to four o'clock. So I've just got up, been down, got myself an orange Americano, just to try and keep myself awake. <laughs> the time is now about 20 past nine and I'm going to order a grab for 10 o'clock. I need to be at the airport for half past 10. It's not far up the road. Check in, and then I'm flying off to Bangkok. Stay there overnight, and then tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. I head back off to the airport for my first flight at 8.45. Have you guessed where it is yet? Which will take me to Doha. That will take around seven, seven and a half hours. I've then got a three and a half hour layover in Doha. And then I get on a second plane and I've got another seven, seven and a half hours to Terminal 4 Heathrow, where my son Michael should be waiting to pick me up. The time has gone so quick, but I think it's gonna be really weird being back in the Western world after being in Southeast Asia for so long. I am really looking forward to surprising everybody because I have managed to keep the secret. I have not told a soul and I am so excited. The journey begins. <laughs> Woo! <laughs>